welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it is me judy and for today's video i'm gonna be sharing you guys some college advice if you are new to my channel hi it is me judy welcome or welcome back if you are not new yeah if you haven't been subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and click the subscribe button down below it will really mean a lot to me tap the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video this is based on my experience based on my opinion and stuff so a little info about me my name is judy and i'm 20 years old but you don't really care about that i go to um state university of new york at oswego in short city oswego i'm a junior i'm currently a junior i know and i'm a psych major with a double minor in health science and nutrition just a little info about my school my school is a medium sized school and it is cold up there but the sunset at the lake is so pretty let's start with something something interesting dating you know let's start with dating not because people are in college they are mature enough to handle relationships most most when i say most okay this is my opinion please do not come after me if you're thinking like oh i'm gonna go to college and meet the love of my life a lot of people are trying to try new things especially in their first year of college Oof. um hookup culture is really what calmer that's the only word i can come up with it's very common in college and if you choose to do the hookup culture you do you boo but be safe as long as there's consent that's really important consent is very important okay don't be pressured to date in college yeah you don't have to date you're really not missing out anything if you choose not to date in college roommates we're gonna talk about roommates so i choose to actually go have a random roommate and i was scared i was blessed to have a nice roommate and she's like the best roommate we decided to be roommates again for, this, for our second year and i'm so i'm so blessed to have her as my roommate first time you meet make an agreement on how you both want to live in that room be respectful that's number one you don't have to be best friends with your roommate if you do that will be really nice but you don't have to be as long as you respect each other choosing classes and professors who's rate my professor well i don't heavily rely on it but it's a good guide to see what students think about that professor or that class that they're teaching there are actually really good professors out there but they don't know how to um teach i guess like you know it, they have different teaching styles and you can actually kind of get a little info about that and rate my professors they usually put it the professor teaches well how they grade um if they give finals papers is it um is your attendance mandatory or not you know those kind of stuff I choose classes based on your interests um, there are morning classes afternoon classes evening classes if you're not a morning person don't take morning classes unless you really have to talk to your advisor because they would help you a lot when i was thinking about switching majors my advisor really helped me a lot throughout those tough times <laughs> and yeah they will be there for you to help you and guide you throughout your college career so talk to them be nice to them next is about choosing your majors it is okay to choose undeclared to be undeclared um i don't see a problem about that i feel like college is where you actually find out what you're really interested about and that is okay be open about what you want i personally have a lot of interest and it was so confusing for me to actually be um sure about what major i really want to stick to it is okay to change your major study tips build good study habits go to your professor's office hours if you need help they're there to guide you i have a planner i don't care if you want digital planner or physical planner google calendar is really really helpful and it saved my life it's just a good um thing to have to know how your day is gonna go 
where you should be at a specific time what is it like being away um you guys didn't know i'm from new york city and that's probably about uh, five to six hours being away is actually a huge step for me i didn't really get homesick until midterms because that's when reality starts to slap on your face it's a really cool experience um i learned a lot about being independent it can get stressful once in a while or most of the time question myself about what i really want to be in the future how to make friends explore clubs organizations at your school has to offer and join at least one that interests you be yourself not everyone's going to like you but that's just life in college most people mind their own business if you have the opportunity to take college courses while you're in high school take them if it is free take them because it prepares you um for college work will help you knock out those gen ed classes so you don't have to take them colleges will credit them some would not but still i think it is a great opportunity to have a idea on how college work would look like use your time wisely it's very important um it is okay to say no it is okay to say no going out partying alcohol drugs sex etc if people really respect your decision they won't have to pressure you to do something that you're not comfortable with if they are pressuring you on things that you don't want to do cut them off we don't need those toxic people in our life college is already stressful enough and we don't have that time you are dorming can't avoid this but please try to not overpack um i remember bringing a lot of clothes but i only wore about like 20, 20 of them the whole the whole time and when it was time to move out i'm like i did not wear this your dorm is going to be tiny as hell next thing is be open-minded because you're going to meet a lot of different people in college if you are in college you are here to explore you're open with a lot of different opportunities so take them take advantage of them taking advantage of these opportunities are not only good on your resume but it's a good experience as well enjoy your time in college is going to go by so fast and i mean that so make the most out of it that is it for this video if you have any questions that i did not cover in this video feel free to comment it down below or message me on my social media accounts which will be linked down in the description box down below so please check that out or to hit the like button if you guys like this video stay tuned for more college videos and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys